Okay, first question for Rob. You can start, we'll start down here with Scott on the left. Rob, the uh, big strikeout in the seventh inning with Alvarado, why did you like him in that spot? And, uh, you know, how important was it uh, for him to kind of have a moment like that uh, early on in the postseason? Yeah, it was a big strikeout. We knew Gurriel was going to pinch hit for Sanchez, but uh, we liked the matchup. Um, the cutter's been fantastic the last three, four outings with Alvarado. So we just like the matchup. Uh, Wills was kind of running out of pitches at that point, but Wills was fantastic all night. I mean, this guy's been consistent all year. He's been really good, but I thought tonight his stuff was as good or, or better than any other start all year. Can you go right down here in the middle in front. Uh, Rob, Skip Schumacher was just in here and he said that he thought the story of the game was Wheeler just stepping up in a big game again tonight. What have you thought of his ability to perform here on like the biggest of stages the last two years? Yeah, he did it. Uh, he did it all last year in the postseason too. So um, him and Nola have uh, they've been in some pretty big games in the last couple of postseasons. So um, yeah, he's he's a guy that you can lean on to give you some length and, and give you a quality outing. Down in front, Marcus. Rob, two things. Um, you know, the last time we saw Wheeler give way to Alvarado in the postseason, it was a runner on and things didn't go real well. Did you have any sort of deja vu moment there? Well, not really. <laughs> and But I might lie. I might be lying. <laughs> but um, No, I, I just thought that, you know, it was a little bit different the last time. Um, you know, Wills still had a lot of pitches left. He didn't have many pitches left. And he threw a lot of pitches in that particular inning tonight. Um, so I, I just thought it was the right move, and, uh, and it worked out. Did it break your heart a little bit that you know you didn't get that ground ball out that would have gotten him through the seventh? And yeah, yeah, that that would have been big. And what happened there? On uh, Bohm? No, the I'm sorry, the oh ball oh that, Harp just he went too far. He vacated, yeah. yeah. And you see that every once in a while, but there's a situation where you know Harp hasn't had a, a lot of reps at first base, so those things are going to happen. But they happen to experience first baseman too. And finally, um, on Wheeler, his first seven starts are, you know, in the in the postseason for his career. You know, he's fared a lot better than guys in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Do you think that people maybe don't appreciate what he's been really since 2018, and especially now that he's done it, you know, in you know at least seven starts in the postseason? Yeah, I, I hope they appreciate it because I certainly do, and I, I think. Everybody in this organization appreciates what he's done because it's been phenomenal. And tonight is no exception. So uh, hopefully he keeps it going. You want to go down here on the right? Rob, what was your take on the on the Rojas at bat in the in the third inning and how key was that as far as turning the momentum in your guys' favor? Yeah, it was huge. You know, he kept fouling off pitches and, and finally gets a base hit. But the the other part of it is he gets a great dirt ball read. And Stott had a dirt ball read at second base, too, which put him into scoring position. So, um, you know, Johan, he's such an electric player, and he, he can impact the game in so many ways. And, and his poise level um, since he's been up here has just been unbelievable for a young kid like he is that's never been above double A. Straight back in the middle. Rob, what did you make of the night Dusty Wathen had at third base? Was it the right decision to hold Schwarber in the first, and then should he not have put up the stop sign for Harper later in the game? Um, well, the, in the first inning, you have to be careful there because Sanchez can throw. And, um, you know, it was a little bit offline. He's, by our reports, he's a more accurate thrower than that throw there. And you've got Harper coming to the plate. So you better make sure with, with the catch making the first out, you better make sure that guy's going to be standing up at the plate. Down here in the front. Yeah, I want to talk about a Hopper running through the sign there. Do you get, because of, of the player that he is, do you, you give him that kind of leeway to kind of do that? It was a great play, but, you know, you give him that kind of, because he is a superstar like that? No, uh, no. He just, <laughs> he's just so aggressive. And, uh, you know, he, he wants to win. He wants to score. Uh, it's, it's not like I tell him, hey, if, if uh, somebody tells you not to run, go ahead and run if you want to. It's not, we don't do that. But he's just so instinctive and, and so aggressive that, uh, you know, he sometimes he runs through stop signs. Take two more in the back on the left. Uh, save Brandon Marsh tonight, who obviously came in late in the game. Every single person in the lineup got in the hit calm to get all the bats going. 
game one wild card series. I mean, how much does that mean to you just in terms of building everybody's confidence and letting them settle into, you know, a raucous environment in the postseason? Yeah, I thought it was great. You know, like you said, everybody in the starting lineup had a had a base hit, and, and I was really happy for Pache. He struck out the first time, then he gets an RBI base hit. He made a really good, got a really good jump on the first play of the game and made a really nice catch. So I was happy for him. I thought we had good at bats all night long, and we drove Lazardo's pitch count up. I think he had 24 pitches after the first inning, and and we drove his pitch count up and, and got him out in, in pretty good uh, pretty good time. So um, yeah, I was I was happy with the at bats. I think that that yeah that that'll build some confidence going into tomorrow. Okay, last one down here in the middle. No, it's you guys. Good. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're going to start it off with questions for Zach right here in the middle. Zach, your velocity was up. It was up throughout last postseason. You're a guy who pitches like 200 innings a year. Just how is that possible that this deep into a season you have like your Christmas stuff? I don't know, honestly. Um, I mean, it's got to be the atmosphere and the adrenaline going. Um, you know, as soon as I step, step foot out of the dugout to go stretch out there in the bullpen, the crowd went nuts and I got chills. So, you know, it started right there and um, – I think it just kind of carries into me, you know, throwing the baseball. It uh, definitely helps. Next question, Todd. First row, yeah. Was that your best stuff of the season, do you feel like? That was the best the sweeper's been. That was a big pitch for me tonight. And um, I just had a very good feel for where to start it and what it was going to do. It did the same thing every single time, no matter if I threw it up or down. Um, so, you know, it was a big pitch for me tonight. and. We uh, really relied a lot on it. And I just talked to JT about it just now. And um, I don't know. I mean, fastball was there. Velo and command for the most part. Um, I know they're an aggressive team. So we just got to go right after them and just keep mixing it up. How, how have you felt about the sweep of the season? You started throwing it in spring training. Has it been kind of up and down from start to start? Or has, has it been a build towards this moment? Um, it's kind of a mix just because I've been messing with my mechanics this just a little bit um, throughout the season. So when I do something a little different with that, I got to tweak, you know, certain pitches also because they come out of the hand differently. So, um, you know, it was nothing crazy. It was just little things here and there. And I felt like it was kind of like my mechanics all this season was kind of, you know, hit or miss. So um, it felt really good tonight. And then just one last one. Uh, how, how satisfying was this start tonight? You've talked a lot about, you know, how last season ended and how it left a bitter taste in your mouth. Yeah. Um, I mean, last year is what it is, but you know, this year we're a new team, and um, I don't know, just trying to do the same thing. You know, just just go deep into the games, good quality innings, try to save the bullpen because I know it's going to be a long, uh, long road ahead of us. So, um, you know, that's the biggest goal. Thanks. Zach, right? Zach, your numbers in in game one starts the past couple of games when you started are, are outstanding. I mean, just so, what sort of mindset do you take out there for game one, and how key is it to get the team off to you know, to be up 1-0, one, one oh, basically. Yeah, game one's huge. Um, you know, especially at home, you, will, you don't want to let these fans down and you want to start off on a good foot and, uh, you know, keep the crowd into it. So that's the that's the goal right away. And then, you know, just ease your way into it and kind of dial it back a little bit if you need to or, you know, bump it up a little bit. So um, I don't know. You know, it's just game one. It's a big game. You got to you gotta get ahead and get that win, especially in a short, short series. Okay, next question down here in the front row. You know, when you have a game like you had tonight on the mound, do, do, does the offense feed into that? You know, does that energize the offense as well? I think, you know, it kind of goes back to what I was just talking about was, you know, just keeping the crowd in it, um, not letting them get on the board, not letting them get, you know, rallies going and stuff like that. And, you know, I think if that happens, the fans, you know, stay alive and, you know, help out our hitters. You know, I, I know they feed off of it. So, um, you know, you get a base knock or somebody gets on, the crowd's going nuts and, you know, I, I know I've pitched in crazy atmospheres, and it's it's hard to concentrate out there a little bit. Um, you know, especially if you haven't been in the situation, so it's hard to lock it in sometimes. And um, that's how we start good rallies. Next question. We're gonna go all the way to the back. Zach, so like you mentioned earlier this week about even just taking a moment to appreciate it and enjoy the moment. Some maybe you kind of learn from last year. Did you have that moment tonight where you just kind of let it sink in, even if it was just 
momentarily? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you never take it for granted. So, like I said earlier, just walking out of the dugout to the bullpen, I mean, I got chills right away. And I knew it was going to be crazy, but I didn't expect that. And that's awesome. Um, you know, they really got me going. So, uh, you know, that's why we all love it playing here at home. And, um, you know, throughout the game, you know, maybe three, two pitch or sometimes with two strikes, the crowd's going crazy and you kind of just sit there and just, you know, take it in for a second and then lock it back in and go after a guy. Marcus to the left. Uh, Zach, uh, I don't know if you do this before every start, but you were standing on the top step watching, you know, the, the regulars take batting practice before this game. Is that your normal routine or was that something yeah. different? <laughs> Honestly, it's going to sound funny, but a lot of the locker rooms are like ice boxes, so I try to get out there and um, get my body temp, you know, back to normal because I'm freezing inside. But um, it's also, you know, just going outside and just enjoying the day, and you know, just enjoy watching guys, you know, work on their craft, and um, I don't know, yeah, get kind of bored sometimes just sitting around. So. And you, uh, since 18, you've gotten some, you've stacked up some pretty good numbers. And through your first seven starts in the postseason, you know, you're outperforming some Hall of Famers. Do you feel like, number one, you get enough recognition? I know you don't care about it a lot, but do you feel like you get the recognition you deserve? And do you feel like, you know, do you feel special right now? Um, I just feel like I'm, you know, doing my job, honestly. Um, you know, that's, that's why I came here. and. That's why the Phillies signed me, was to pitch like I am. So um, maybe some people didn't expect it or you know, were scared of it at first because of my history. But um, I knew what I was capable of. And um, you know, it's been fun. It's been a fun ride. And you know, making it to the postseason, there's nothing like it. And I just try to do the exact same thing. But you know, I think this, my adrenaline and everything comes up, and it just plays a tiny bit more. And sometimes that helps you. Zach, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, guys. Okay, we're going to start in the back, Trey, on your right. Trey, in a, in a short series, uh, how crucial is a game one win? Yeah, uh, shorter the series, I think more important, you know, game one is. And um, kind of take that pressure off yourself. You know, I think uh, if you don't score early, you don't win, you kind of start trying harder. And, you know, that's never ne necessarily uh, a good thing. So, um, yeah, today was good. Um, Zach was amazing. And um, offense did enough to win. So it was just a good team win and roll in tomorrow and try to get it done. Trey, right. this being your first playoff game here as a Philly, how did the atmosphere measure up to what you would have expected? Yeah, it was, uh, it was electric. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, from the start, I think intros is you know pretty funny. I, I laugh at uh, you know just the energy and watching the other team kind of have to deal with it is always kind of fun. And um, but they were good. They were good. Uh, you know, all game uh, from the first inning and um, on their feet every two strikes. It was just it was fun to be a part of. And then one through nine, everybody had a hit. You got a good start from the starters, zeros from the bullpen, just team wide. Was this yeah. kind of how you guys would have drawn up a game one? Yeah, um, we think you know everyone's here for a reason, and we all can contribute. Um, we grind things out, whether it's offensively or you know pitching staff, whatever it may be. So, um, like I said, Zach did good. The bullpen was awesome, um, and and. You know, our at-bats I thought were pretty good off a good pitching staff. They got really good arms over there, and um, we knew it was going to be easy. But um, we grind things out, and, and uh, it was a good team win. And just uh, when you're behind Wheeler, you know there's going to be a lot of ground balls. But what, what's it like to play behind him on a night when he's as locked in as he was tonight? Yeah, uh, it's fun. Uh, no contact in the postseason is a good thing. So he was. it felt like he was striking everyone out. Um, and then when they put the ball in play, it felt like weak contact. Um, maybe other than, than uh, Josh Bell, the guy was killing us. But, um, you know, it was fun playing behind him when he's, when he's cooking like that. And pitch count was low, and uh, he was just kind of on cruise control. He's really good. Okay, anything else for Trey? Good. Thank you, Trey.